I have more failures than successes. Uh, the biggest reason I failed over the years is it, it, it's not about what failures you did. I, I lost a million dollars in a hosting company. This is before there was cloud hosting. I thought I had the idea for cloud hosting. This is before Amazon, etc. I'm not saying I was the only one who thought about it. Poor execution. But there was one thing I learned from all my failures. As an entrepreneur, you will make mistakes. The one who succeeds is a person who keeps learning from their mistakes and they avoid making the same ones over and over again. That's the key. It's not about what is the mistake, it's what did you do wrong and can you learn from it and avoid making it over again. Because then, once you tr fast forward five, six years from now and you're continuing your entrepreneurial journey, you're less likely to fumble and mess up, which increases your odds of succeeding. So I actually started, I, I started one of those ebook sites, actually I, I did a little course um, when I was in the States traveling um, and they said put up a site and sell information on pretty much anything. So I was like, oh people like photography, I'll outsource an ebook writing on photography and uh, that got written and I had a sales page and I started driving traffic and no one bought the book. So then I tried to write the sales page again and no one bought the book. And, uh, Try different ads, and no one, still no one bought the book. So after you know heaps of testing and going into it, and then I was like, well, you know, I don't want to be selling this forty-seven dollar ebook for a start. But I was also like, okay, this test and this didn't work. So you've got to learn to when to say, okay, this product for this market, it's it's had a good test. I was I was using paid traffic. I was doing it very well. I, I spent you know five hundred to a thousand dollars on traffic. It just wasn't working. So that's it. You cut your losses and you move on to the next, the next thing. So um, I think test um, and, and test early, and it's never been a better time to test. You know, Facebook ads, right? You just you buy two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars worth of ads, send them to a landing page, and there's only one of a few things wrong. There's the the offer, the audience, um, or you know, just yeah, the the actual you know the ad optimal. You just haven't done it right. Um, but there's only a few things there that, that won't be right. For a few hundred dollars worth of ads. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, I think I won. So, my first business has actually got something like a terrible failure because it was purely me being incompetent. But my first business through Tim's program was actually a website design agency. And for the first, I would say, year, I made like one sale, which was a referral from my dad. Um, <laughs> and I was, I didn't understand, like, oh, why am I not making any, why is it not making sales? And I kept tweaking the website and redoing the, I didn't read the sales video like four times. And I didn't, I kept doing all this stuff at the website. And in hindsight, I didn't, I wasn't doing a single thing of marketing. I think I sent about five direct mails in that entire year. But I had just like five handwritten letters and obviously no one knew I existed. Um, but I guess that was kind of a, wasted year just not even trying to market it and um, yeah yeah my biggest failure is pretty much like focusing on like hobby projects like especially at the beginning of SSM I had like you know like things we made like profit but like it, it was not livable profit so and the main reason for that was like I didn't look at the numbers you know like I was like yeah it's it's working I'm making progress um, getting slow clients, but like, um, and yeah, like it's, at some ends I didn't even break even, especially at the beginning, you know, like I under, completely undersold myself, which is like at the beginning is nice, you know, like you do one, two projects, getting experience, getting that in, but after the tenth projects, like, um, you, you basically need to make money. Any more questions? This one's for Tim. <laughs> 